In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. The scripture today is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 16, verses 12 through to 15. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority. But whatever he bears, he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. In today's Gospel reading from St. John, we read about why it is so important for him to return to the Father, that the Holy Spirit will then come from the Father to us, to tell us all things, to teach us, to guide us. The Holy Spirit does not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. If what we hear is not glorifying God, then it is not of Him. All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore I said that He will take of mine and declare it to you. The Holy Spirit will declare that which is of God not of himself. We must learn to listen. We must learn to be silent. In this crazy, noisy world, it's very hard. There are so many distractions. And this is why we need to be quiet to listen to that gentle, soft voice. The Holy Spirit will guide you on your journey. Listen. Listen to that voice. If it does not glorify God, then it is not of Him. We must be quiet. We must be at peace. In the world there is no peace. But in God there is. Quiet. Quiet, gentle voice. Listen. Listen to the Holy Spirit as he speaks to you. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. Glory to God in all things.
May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.